Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is another episode of the Wellness Journal. We are on episode four. Um, I just want to go back and say that I did add the dentist to the last one because in 2017 I did do all of my dentist appointments and I've been taking care of my teeth. Um, so I wanted to add that on the physical care. We're going to start today with emotional self-care. Um, I did pull out my pen and highlighters and some markers just getting a little bit more prepared um, than, I, than I was before because um, it seems like I'm going to need pens and markers and I just I didn't have all of that out. I just had a pen out before so a little bit better to highlight any important things that I see. It says emotional self-care and now I wanted to let you guys know also that I'm not reading ahead I am reading along with you so I haven't planned anything I don't know what they're gonna ask me to do um, hence why I really didn't have like a marker or pen or anything like that I'm doing this book with you guys so it says emotional self-care how you deal with your feelings saying a lot about how much you love yourself when you're having a really bad day, everything is going wrong, and then you break something on top of it, how do you react? A. Start cursing at yourself and calling yourself horrible names while blaming yourself for everything. Or B. You take a step back and give yourself time to breathe. Which one most closely resembles how you cope? Um, I think I deal with the issue until I can get a break. For example, my job is really stressful, so I can't just say I need a moment to walk away. So I push through it first, and then I take a step back and give myself time to breathe. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna highlight this, because I think that's kind of what I do. And it says, maybe it's something in between. And that's where I feel like I fall at, in the in-between stage here. Having the ability to deal with your emotions in a healthy way is cru crucial to your happiness and your quality of life. It says, if you feel like you are unable to deal with your emotions in a healthy way, if you feel like your emotions are in control of you and your life, then focusing on your emotional self-care can really help. Um, I feel like it can be at times, you know, stressful. So I'm going to highlight this area just because I feel like, yeah, I can use some help on that. When you feel an unpleasant emotion like jealousy, shame, embarrassment, how do you deal with it? Do you beat yourself up over it? Do you blame yourself for being too weak or sensitive when you let things get to you? Um, I do blame myself for some things like my weight. I feel like that's my responsibility. I'm the one doing it to my own self, not so much other people. Um, I put more pressure on my own self when it comes to my weight. It says, you have to learn how to honor your emotions and process them in a healthy way. On the opposite end of the scale, you could be the kind of person that never lets anything rattle you. Um, I feel like at times I could put up a wall. I mean, anyone could, you know. You refuse to feel those things that hurt and while you're so busy pretending like you're indestructible those feelings have a way of manifesting themselves into your life through echoes and self-destruction i don't think that's me emotional self-care is about reacting to your emotions in a healthy way having good coping mechanisms and cultivating emotional intelligence this means being able to be aware of what you're feeling when you're feeling it the ability to cope with your emotions and also express it in a healthy way now this is the part i need help with i'm a really nice person but let me get mad i'm angry um Everyone, my family say I'm the mean one, but I'm not. I'm just very direct. Okay, you have to learn how to be gentle with yourself and your feelings. Develop compassion for yourself and your feelings and why you feel the way you do. You are emotional. It's normal. It's human. And oftentimes, it's messy, and that's okay. 
Okay, I like this part. I need to tell myself that a lot more. Okay. Things like jealousy, anger, and hurt are real and valid, and they deserve to be explored. No emotion that you have makes you a bad person or less than. There will be times when you are an emotional mess, when you're having a bad day and nothing that you do is really making you feel better. Be patient and loving, just like you be to a dear friend. Sometimes the only way to heal is to just quietly understand. You can start working on your emotional self-care right now by changing the tone of your internal voice. Changing the tone of your internal voice. I think that means start telling yourself positive vibes, but we'll keep going. Let that voice be one that provides wisdom instead of verbal abuse. There you go. Yes, yes. I'll put a little mark there. Okay, in time, that inner... You can become your greatest source in time. That inner you can become your greatest source of comfort. Yes, I like that. This is about making you happy. Okay, so we're over here on this page. It says, um, work on your self-talk. Make sure that you, you aren't being verbally abusive to yourself. No more calling yourself ugly, fat, stupid, or any other words you couldn't use towards someone you love. Say no to demands on your time when it's, your, when it's for your greater good. You aren't obligated to emotionally drain or hurt yourself for the benefit of other people. And this is so true. You know, being a parent, you put your kids in front of you. You put your husband in front of you. And yes. Stop guilting yourself over every little thing you've ever done wrong. And remove constant shoulds from your vocabulary. Have good emotional boundaries. If something or someone triggers you, know when to step back. Don't dumb yourself from your emotions don't numb yourself from your emotion this means not using drugs alcohol food or anything else to hide your feelings and for me it's food you guys know that on that list create a support system that understands your emotional struggles find people you can talk to about anxiety depression or any other things you might struggle with ask yourself what you really need right now and ask it again and again multiple times a day I don't do this. Do you guys do that? Okay, have a healthy plan to cope with emotional distress. When you're having an emotional crisis, tap into your wise inner self and work on being able to give yourself good advice. Okay, emotional care list. Make a list of ways you can honor your emotions. So I just wanted to talk about the uh, list for emotional care list. Um, it says make a list of ways you can honor your emotions and I put cry, breathe, and I put close your eyes because I feel like when you close your eyes and breathe, you, 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 you just go into a different space. Um, I put silence, um, because sometimes you just need to take a break, breathe and be silent, silent in your thoughts and in your feelings. And I put counting, um, Counting is a technique that, you know, kids use when they're young. They're like count backwards, 10, 9, 8. And you're just breathing and you're releasing whatever you're feeling. And, of course, talking um, talking to others do help. So we're going to stop here because we're at about 10 minutes. So um, that's all we're going to do for today. And we'll be back with the next video. Hope to see you. Bye.